<sighs> okay, so I am back. Uh, it's a Wednesday, so I'm doing another cooking stream. Um, I didn't do one on Monday or Tuesday, which is my normally my gaming stream. Um, that being because I just had too much things going on. Um, I had some other stuff to work on, and I didn't have enough time to like get all the stuff ready for a stream. So, um, but that's out of the way. So now I can get back to this. Um, so tonight we got three things coming up. Um, I'm getting to the end of the pumpkin cookbook, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, it's been a lot of pumpkin. Um, but the first thing tonight is going to be boon cakes, um, or mini, I guess they're bun cakes. I say boon, I'm probably going to keep saying boon, um, because I don't know any better. Um, or I'll pretend like I don't know any better. Um, so mini ones, but I don't actually have a boon pan, so they're just going to be mini cupcakes made with the uh, the recipe that they give. Um, I didn't want to dump the money into getting a new um, boon pan. And then, uh, yeah, so after that, it'll be pumpkin crepes, which should be fun to watch. I don't know if <laughs> well I'm going to actually do it making them. Uh, and then finally, blueberry muffins. Um, pumpkin blueberry muffins, obviously. Um, so that said, I'm going to get to it. Um, so I'm a little bit different set up than I normally do, so it might take me a little bit longer to look up ingredients and stuff like that, um, but okay, yeah, so the first step is to basically just put together uh, the batter as it describes it in the instruction, so we're going to do muffins. to work with here. You know what, I think I'm going to make a loaf, a one, one eight by four inch loaf, as it says on the instruction. So, uh, this is what I have to work with right now. Let's see if I can find. Sorry, I'll be right back. Um, sorry for the delay. I will be back in just a second.
Okay, um... I... I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do the, uh, the muffins later. Um, I'm going to put it on pause real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, um, sorry for the delay. I, um, I'm kicking at my girlfriend's place, so I'm not as familiar with it where everything is. Um, but I just, uh, got the lowdown on where these are, the muffin pan. So, yeah, uh, we will be working with that in a second, but first is to... Uh, we're gonna make this. Um, it's just just to follow the instructions. So what this is is pumpkin muffin and bread, almond flour baking mix um, for people who like almond flour. Um, so first step is to heat the oven to 350 degrees. And because I'm not actually doing the bundt cakes, um, basically what I'm making is just these muffins, which I'm fine with that. Um, it's basically the same thing. I just didn't want to buy a $35 pan that I'm not going to use um, for my next stream. Uh, so with that, I think the next thing would be, yeah, to whisk things together. So first thing is eggs, it calls for three. those look okay. These eggshells are very thin. And then water, so I need half a cup of that. All right, half cup in. 
And then it just says a third of a cup of oil. So I'll use canola since that's kind of a neutral flavored one. It's actually quite a lot of oil. all these together. And then add the uh, this mix from the store. So, I mean, you can find this uh, Simple Mills baking mix kind of in the same place that you would with like brownies and other things. Um, it took me a little bit to find it. It was kind of like down on the bottom shelf of like the fancy organic section of everything. Um, I mean, I probably spent like five minutes staring at the grocery aisle before I actually found this thing, but um, I was relieved when I did. I was like, don't lie to me, Fred Meyer app. I know it's here. Okay. Um, okay, and then we're just going to slowly whisk this until it forms a batter. But yeah, I guess the whole idea behind it being a mini boon cake thing, which also that's like, I don't know. I don't think it's anywhere near as common of a cooking item as uh, it kind of makes it sound. Just sort of like matter of factly states like, uh, let's make mini boon cakes. And I went on Amazon and it's like, that's not a super common thing to find out there. Now full boon cake, that makes sense. But I guess the whole point behind the recipe is so that you can take, make two of them and stack them on top of each other. And then it makes a small pumpkin, which is a great idea. Um, but I don't, I kind of care more about the food. So we're just gonna make cupcakes and leave it at that. So, um, like it actually calls for these like cinnamon sticks, um, to use as like the, the stem of the, uh, the pumpkins. So, but, let it be known if anyone wants to try that at home. It's not a bad idea. Um, I just don't want to spend a bunch of money on stuff like that. Okay, I think the next step is to pour them in, so... Yeah, so it says to spoon the batter evenly into 12 lightly greased or paper lined muffin caps.
so I think what I'm kind of figured out is that if I do about two spoonfuls into each cup, that should make out pretty evenly. The first one, I think I did three. Yeah, so we're coming up on the end of the batter here. That's a little lumpy, okay. And then I'll just try and scrape up the rest of this. Okay, um, and that should be it. I'm just going to check the recipe real quick. Okay, yeah, so, uh, so we're going to stick these right in the oven. I'm just going to... pick off those little guys on the edge there and then stick them in there. So the instructions call for 15 to 20 minutes, which I usually just do 15. So we're set with the timer that's to 15. So while I'm waiting is that this recipe actually does call for a frosting on top of that. Um, so like the actual book recipe isn't much, of, it's not really all that much of a recipe. It literally calls for a simple mills, pumpkin, muffin, and bread mix, um, just with a boot pan instead of muffins. Um, but it does actually have a recipe for some frosting um, to put on top of them. So I will go grab that right now. Okay, so first thing is a lemon. Powdered sugar and So we're just going to use a small bowl for this. Actually, we're going to switch it out for some nicer syrup.
Okay, so we're gonna use two of these for juice. The other two, I'm just gonna put off the side um, for like water or something. Okay, so that's that. And yeah, all right, so it's it's a half a cup of powdered sugar. two tablespoons of maple syrup. So it's a, lot, it's, it's a lot of sugar with a little bit of lemon juice, basically. Something I do like about this is it's really simple. So that's half a lemon. All right, we're just gonna whisk this all together. Just gonna try and get all those little clumps of sugar out. I can kind of see them floating around in there, the little white dots. But I think that'll probably do. So yeah, it does actually end up kind of runny. Yeah, the official taste tester approves. So. <laughs> All right, so this just goes off to the side. Uh, I still got seven minutes, so um, 
Oh, we got something in chat. Oh, hey, how's it going, Vernal? Um, so I just started with the, like, the boon cakes. Um, I am not actually making, or sorry, bun cakes. Um, I guess that's how you're supposed to say it. Um, I've been saying boont all night, but, um, they're like mini, they're supposed to be mini boont cakes, which are basically just muffins in a mini boont pan. Um, but, uh, I didn't want to spend the money on a, you know, like a, a mini boot pan where they've got like six of them next to each other. Um, and I thought about just getting a boot pan, but I also didn't want to do that because I, I honestly don't think I'm going to be using it that much. So I basically just followed the recipe and I'm making muffins the way that it says so on the box, um, which is basically all this recipe calls for. Um, but it is technically pumpkin muffin and bread mix. So we do have the pumpkin in there and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So they're, they're in the oven right now, which is why they're not here. Um, all I was doing was making the frosting on them, which is like kind of a mix of powdered sugar, maple, and then lemon, um, which I think is pretty good. Okay, so that's all finished up. I'm going to take a quick break uh, so I can do a little bit of dishes and get on top of things over on this end and then when I get back I'll probably have um half them out of the oven so it should be about five minutes
Okay, so back on and now with this cooling rack here, uh, they should be ready. So I'm gonna take a look, see how they look. Oh yeah, yeah. Toothpick would be good. Oh yeah, this definitely need to still go. I'm gonna give it another five minutes. Uh, so yeah, just a little background behind there. I stuck it into the muffin, um, one of the big ones actually, and yeah, it just like, I mean, I could kind of tell because the top of it was kind of jiggling around when I was moving it, but I stuck this in and it just like came out straight muffin mix. So it's not quite there, which, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just had kind of hoped they'd be done. Um, so yeah, with that, out of the way, I'll start doing some changes to the interface. So the next thing up um, is going to be pumpkin crepes. So I'm just going to start grabbing the ingredients for it because I think that one is relatively long. I'm going to put this off to the side. Uh, and for anyone who's unfamiliar with crepes, uh, it's kind of like a, I mean, the best way, the closest thing they can really get to is they're kind of like pancakes. Um, I think most people associate them with France, um, but yeah, kind of France, Belgium area. Um, but they're like kind of like a really thin pancake. Um, you make them by like, you know, kind of frying them on a, like a flat iron. Um, but they're really thin and then you kind of roll them almost like you would like a tortilla um, with stuff in the middle of it. I mean, it'll make more sense when I show it, but um, yeah, they're, they're really good, I guess is what I'd say. Um, and yeah, they're kind of like pancakes, but not really. Crepes are like crepes, I guess is the best way to put it. So it actually calls for a half cup of butter, which um, is the equivalent of an entire stick of butter. Uh, puree, of course, just a quarter cup of this. So, um, and actually I, I reread it. It's half a cup of this. 
Um, not an entire. Or sorry, quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick. So we can use up the rest of this one here. plain old sugar um, so oh and there we go that's the timer for the muffins Okay, um, I think those are good enough. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And that's what the muffins look like, um, just using the mix, so. Um, as you can see, like, I didn't quite nail it when it came to, like, evenly distributing it. Um, these make sense, because that's where I put the last remaining batter. Um, these ones are more or less kind of the same, and I guess the, you know, like, the important part there is to, um, is just so that they can cook relatively evenly. You know, if, like, these ones obviously are going to take more time than those ones, so these ones... These ones might end up being a little bit overcooked or these ones undercooked. Um, it's not a big deal. Okay, so with that done, um, I think I'll put this frosting on it. Oh. Um, yeah, I actually tried out crepes this weekend um, for breakfast just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, and I tried them a long time ago. I mean, like 10 years ago. Uh, my family actually had a Belgian exchange student who lived with us for a while, um, who, among other things, uh, introduced us to the amazingness that is crepes. So that was pretty sweet. Um, I wasn't very good at flipping them when I was like, what was it? I must have been like 15, 16. Um, Definitely, I'm a lot better at it now that I have patience, basically, um, and can wait for it to actually cook before I try and flip them. Patience and overconfidence are key. Okay, you know what? I think you're supposed to let it cool a little bit before you try and put the frosting on, because um, it's just kind of sliding off to the side. Um, so I'll probably come back to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, see, now, you know, this isn't what, this is what you should not do and exactly why you shouldn't do it. Cause you end up with these little pools of frosting, um, surrounding a little hill of muffin. Um, but when I let them cool down, we will put frosting on them and it'll look a lot better than this. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Okay, so back to crepes. 
So, review. You got butter, eggs, sugar. Almond milk in this recipe, which is kind of nice because I am generally vegan, um, although I sometimes we eat dairy product, or, well, obviously. So, I mean, I guess this isn't a vegan recipe, but it does call for almond milk. Um, So vanilla extract, which I got here. Uh, this is pumpkin pie spice. Um, same thing as I have over at my house, um, except it says the spice on it. Um, Okay, a little bit of nutmeg. We'll have some salt in it. Uh, a giant thing of flour. We're not going to use all of this, obviously, but... Um, I just wanted to show it because it looks cool. Uh, and a tablespoon of coconut oil, um, which is mostly, it's probably going to be more than a tablespoon. Um, but yeah, so I actually went and got liquid coconut oil um, instead of the stuff that I have to melt beforehand. Um, it says in its ingredients are just coconut oil. So I don't know how they do it, what magic they use, like, or witchcraft to get this so that it comes out liquid, but that's, I mean, it's going to save a ton of time. So, um, so anyways, that's all the ingredients for crepes. Um, so now I'm going to start following the directions. Okay, so it says to combine... everything inside of a blender together, but I don't want to do that. I just want to do it by hand. So I'm going to do it by hand. Okay, so first thing is eggs. We got two eggs here. Okay, so this butter I'm gonna throw into the microwave real quick. Um, and then we'll throw it in here once it's all melted.
So this is an, obviously an entire can. We don't need to use the whole thing. So calls for a quarter cup. Um, instead of trying to like fit a quarter cup in there, uh, a quarter cup is four tablespoons. So that's an easy one to remember. If you ever want to use spoons to do it, I think in certain situations, obviously it's better just to use the exact measurement. Um, but if it's for something where it's kind of hard to dig into, um, I just use a, a tablespoon. So I'm going to pour the part of the butter that's melted and put the rest back in the microwave. Okay, so it calls for two tablespoons of sugar. All right, and then three quarter cups of almond milk. the butter there. Okay, it calls for half a teaspoon. one full teaspoon of the pumpkin spice ex pumpkin spice extract what am I talking about pumpkin spot pie spice which um, I, as I said before uh, this is something that's actually made from scratch um, using the recipe from the book um, so it's kind of a mixture of ground ginger nutmeg uh, a lot of cinnamon I think mostly cinnamon um, and then ground cloves as well um, it's in almost everything in this cookbook Okay, a uh, tiny dash of salt. Wabu. Uh, there we go. Um, a little splash of nutmeg. A metric splash of nutmeg. Okay, and then a 
it says to combine all of that in a blender. And like I said, I'm not gonna do that because I don't follow instructions well. Um, it's just more fun to do it by hand. If Asterix and Obelix made crepes by hand, so can I. Oh, this is kind of... chunks in it. I'm not sure how. Um, investigate a little bit. I guess it's like the sugar and the butter. Hmm. Instead of a whisk, I'm going to use this thing. Spatula, which just kind of lets me push things against the walls of the bowl. Because just handling it with my hand, you can tell a lot of those like clumps or whatever will like kind of fall apart if you put a little bit of pressure on them. And it looks like it's really just the sugar that's clumping up. Okay, you know what? I think that'll be good for now. Um, you know, I, I guess I just assumed... Yeah, I just kind of assumed that the... Uh, that it should be, like, smooth. But we're not really done making the flour yet. Or, sorry, making the batter yet. I need to start adding in flour, so... I think I'm just going to do that, and then, I mean, the chunks should work themselves out eventually. Um, I was just kind of surprised that there were chunks in it. Um, okay, so it calls for eight tablespoons. We're going to do it one at a time. And again, it calls to, for this to be done in a blender. I can kind of, I'm starting to see why. I just, again, kind of surprised. Okay, so that's one.
number four. So we're starting to get there. It's looking more like a batter now. Five. It's got three more to go. Um, I will say that, like, one thing about crepes I've, is that generally you don't want clumps in a, the batter, for sure. They're very thin. Um, you wouldn't want any sort of unevenness to them. Okay, so this is number seven. So just one more after this. And I, I think this is, yeah, this looks right. They should be, like, runnier than what you would expect with pancake mix. Yeah, they're almost like the thickness of a tortilla. Okay, and then one more, and that'll be it for the flour. Okay, put a cap on this. So what I'm doing with this spatula is I'm just kind of pushing it against the walls so that any clumps that get caught in there get smashed against the wall. Um, and then I can kind of scrape them off um, and that helps remove those clumps. I think it's basically what they are is little bits of powder um, that have been kind of sealed away from the liquid outside of it. But if you can break through the little wall around it, um, you can mix them back into the batter. And then I think this is pretty close. All right, there we go. Batter, that's probably a lot quicker if you do it with the blender, but I'm happy with that. Okay, um, so I think, yeah, definitely looks better. Um, okay, so these are going to, or this is gonna go into the fridge for about 30 minutes, um, so, I'm gonna save the crepes for last, um, which should be fun to see them all to come together. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and then pull out the muffins because they should be cool so I can start putting the frosting on them. Okay. 
Okay, so these are all cooled down. Um, you can kind of see what went on with those, uh, these guys over here is, um, it just kind of like slid off the edges. And I'm not saying that it's not going to do that. It might very well do that in just a second, but, um, at least, um, I know it isn't really my fault at this point. Um, if it does, so it might not just, it just might not be thick enough. And is it just gonna gonna slide off? I guess it's probably also important to note that this was designed for boon cakes, um, which I just ignored. Um, so that might also it's might not be designed to pour on things that are round on top. But I don't know. It looks. I think that looks better. Okay, um, well, there we go. So with that out of the way, um, I'm gonna try one of these. Okay, so I just put the frosting on it so it hasn't solidified yet. I think this might have been one of the ones that I did earlier. So you can kind of see it got all, got all into the edges there. Um, it looks like it's cooked pretty well. Held together good. So yeah, we just take a bite out of this. It's pretty light, very spongy. Um, I like the frosting a lot. And yeah, just kind of a solid muffin, nothing super fancy, so. Yeah, okay, the, uh... The official taste tester gave the thumbs up to it, so it's at the very least passable. Um, okay, um, I think. That'll probably be it for a sec. I'm gonna take another break. So I can move these off to the side, and get all this cleared out, and then um, next up will be blueberry muffins. Um, once I get those into the oven, then I will double back and do the crepes. Um, the part where I actually put them on a grill. Um, and then that should be it for tonight. So I'll be right back.
Okay, uh, so I'm back. Um, generally on top of things back here. So, so we still actually have grapes to go, but I'm moving on to what I'm gonna call number 43, which is the pumpkin blueberry muffins. Um, so we're actually gonna be using the same uh, muffin pan as before. Um, this one is an actual muffin recipe. The other one was a, a boon cake recipe that I just made as muffins. Um, so, that said, I don't think they're getting the ingredients. So this one calls for gluten-free oat flour. Blanched almond flour. Some more pumpkin pie spice. Salts. Baking soda. Some more eggs. Pumpkin puree, which we're gonna reuse the can. Uh, not reuse, but uh, keep using the can that I opened up earlier. Third recipe is always the hardest because I started misplacing stuff from earlier in the night. Um, well, I was going to say maple syrup, which when I find it, oh, I was using it earlier. That's really weird. Um, I have no idea where I put the maple syrup. I was just using it. Well, I've got a backup, so um, I'll use this uh, not quite as high quality stuff here until I can find it again. That's very odd. Oh, uh, okay. Vanilla extract. Joys of doing a live cooking stream. Uh, unsweetened almond milk.
coconut oil, like I said, I got the liquid kind. So it calls for fresh lemon juice, a teaspoon of it. So I've got two lemon slices here. Um, I think those will probably do. And then a cup of fresh blueberries, which I've got right here. So, uh, so it calls for uh, preheating the oven to 350. I'm going to do now. And then we'll push all this stuff off to the back. And then here is our muffin tray. And so yeah, this part's pretty easy. I mean, it's just lining these muffins, uh, this muffin tray with liners. So for people who haven't worked with muffins before, um, these are considered large muffins or cupcakes. Baking cups, I guess is the term. Um, if they're like extra large or jumbo, um, those are kind of like your like Costco sized muffins. And then the small ones are like, you know, like the yay big for like your mini cupcakes. I think most people would think of these as probably like your standard size, um, but they'll, at the store they'll say large. I have no idea why. It probably just sounds better than medium. So that's that. You know what, I just realized that I was wondering where my large bowl was and it's currently holding crepes. So we're gonna go with the extra large bowl for this. Um, so in a large bowl, with another one cup of flour, almond flour, pumpkin pie spice, salt, and baking soda. Now this one calls for a lot of bowls actually. So um, yeah, we'll start with this one. Uh, The first thing is the oat flour, one cup of that. It's also a cup of the blanched almond flour.
Okay, and then this is the pumpkin pie spice. Uh, so it calls for two teaspoons of that. quarter teaspoon of salt. And then three quarter teaspoons of baking soda, which is right here. So yeah, classic arm and hammer. Okay, so our whisk is kind of taking a little bit of a beating, so I'm gonna try and just like use this wooden salad dong um, to mix stuff up a little bit. I mean, it's, the, the whisk is fine, it's just, I'd have to clean it. Um, I've only got one here, so. It's been a lot of whisking tonight. I'll see right away we're getting this clumps. This is why I need a whisk. Those are mixed. I'm just going to call that mixed. Put this off to the side here. Okay, so in a separate large bowl. together eggs. Pumpkin puree. So it's a third of a cup of pumpkin puree. nice okay so well it kind of fits in there
third of a cup of pure maple syrup and I still am at a loss to where my maple syrup went. So uh, it's somewhere in the fridge, I'm sure. I'm gonna take one last ditch look. I don't know how I can lost something. Oh, there it is. Good, I'm glad. So it does have a lot of maple syrup, so it would be nice to have kind of the nicer stuff. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to get a replacement for that um, when I get a chance. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half cup of unsweetened almond milk. coconut oil and like I said I got the the liquid stuff this time it's a little bit more expensive but basically you're paying for convenience um, somehow is still the same co it's just coconut oil I don't know what's different about it um, I don't know if I want to know Probably one of the first times where we just used it as a part of the recipe. And then lemon juice. So I'm just going to interpret one teaspoon to be one quarter of a lemon slice. I have nothing to back that up. And then we're gonna mix that together. So I'm going to get the spatula. And then we're gonna mix this together until it's smooth and well combined. Okay, and that's cool. It's got this like very bright orange color from the pumpkin, which I like. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're actually gonna take the stuff from the larger bowl and then slowly mix it into here until they're all combined. Um, I'm sure you probably want to do this kind of the opposite way um, where you have, you know, basically put the wet ingredients in the larger bowl. Um, but I didn't realize that. So
otherwise. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> you're so close to being done. Are you going to take a long break from pumpkin? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I definitely am. I, I think a good 12 months probably would be good. Um, 10 to 12 months away from pumpkin would be great. Um, I think by next Halloween, I'll, I might be ready. Um, I'll have to see when I get there, but yeah, it's, um, just, you know, again, it's not like it's a pretty mild flavor. Um, I'm sure there could be worse things, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kind of tired of all the different muffins and cakes and breads and stuff. I, I just want to try other things. So, um, but yeah, um, I think I, I said it before. The next one I'm thinking of doing is a Korean cookbook. So, um, that should be a lot of fun. Um, and that's mostly, I, I mean that mostly not sarcastically. Um, some of it I'm sure will be a lot of fun in a very sarcastic way. Okay, so in a small bowl, toss blueberries and remaining oat flour together and then gently fold them into the batter. Okay, so this is a small bowl. These are blueberries. This is a cup of blueberries. This is two tablespoons of oat flour mixed into the berries. And now we're going to fold them in. But yeah, I guess that's kind of the thing about one ingredient cookbooks, right? Is that a cookbook's going to usually have at least like 50 recipes in it. So I, I knew, I knew I would get to this point. <laughs> I'm just, Ugh, so tired. Yeah, and I, I would definitely, I that's kind of the reason that I 
was bummed that I didn't have a chance to do the stream earlier this week. It's because I honestly, I just want to get them done um, by the end of December so I can move on to other things. I'm just, I'm excited about the Korean stuff. So, um, but yeah, obviously I have things outside of the stream that I need to do. So, okay. Uh, and then we're going to distribute. So, So I think I'm going to use a spoon to do this. Okay, so I was able to kind of do it with one spoonful in a lot of these, but definitely not all of them were, were evenly sized. Um, some of these are going to look kind of lumpy, I'm sure. Not super worried. Um, the muffins we were making earlier definitely came out a lot more runny than this. I don't know. I think these will be pretty good. Taste is what matters the most. I agree with that. Uh, okay, bake for 20 to 22 minutes. Okay, um, so that's going. Uh, I'm gonna take a, another break to go, you know, catch up on dishes and things. And when I come back, um, we're gonna start making some crepes. So I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm back in here with the last part of this stream. So I, I still got the muffins in the oven. So I'll pull them out and those should be ready by the end. Um, but what I have here is our crepe batter. Um, and then I've got kind of a griddle heating up here that I, I'm gonna try and make the crepes on. So we'll see how this goes in a second. Um, so basically for crepes, really all you need is a spatula. And so you put it down here and then you spread it. So it's kind of like a tortilla thickness. Um, and then it shouldn't take super long to cook. And then once you can get your spatula underneath, flip it. And then that's kind of it. So it's like a pancake, but it's the thickness of a tortilla and is kind of its own thing as far as like texture and flavor and stuff. So. Okay, so let's give this a shot. See how it goes. That's still kind of a little chunky. That might be from the butter. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shoot. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to grease the pan. So that's my first mistake here. Um, this one might be a little bit of a wash. We'll just see how that turns out. Um, but yeah, I should have done this first. So. Yeah, okay, this, this might be a mess. <laughs> All right, so while that one's cooking, I'm gonna put another one over here on the, uh, I guess, supposedly greased part of this. I guess I'll just let it do its own thing as far as like spreading out. I mean, what I've done before is like kind of take this and then use it. Yeah. See, that's kind of, kind of how it's supposed to go. Cause you want to get it thin. Okay. Maybe I made that one a little bit too big. Well, by the end of this batter, I might have actually successfully made a crepe. We'll see. Yeah, I think one scoop will probably be good in the future. So let's see how this guy's going. Oh no, that's that's not cooked at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's got that crepey look to it, but it is kind of a crappy crepe. So that's, I'm gonna let that finish cooking because it's still edible.
Okay, so it's starting to heat up, which I think is going to help. Okay, so mistake number one, um, remember to, or lesson number one, not mistake. We don't make mistakes, we just learn lessons. Um, lesson number one, grease the pan before you uh, try and make it great. Um, ah, that is hot. It's definitely cooking. Lesson two, don't put two of them there. That's too big. I I haven't tried to flip it yet, but I have a feeling of what's going to happen and when I do. So we're just going to put one right there and then do the cool circle thing. then leave it there. Yeah, see it's still... Yeah, this part isn't cooking. Okay, so this one actually looks like it's doing a pretty decent job cooking. This one is, uh, it's struggling. It's struggling mightily, so, um, but this one actually, I, I have some faith this one's actually going to turn out. Um, this is all going to be a, a bit of an adventure. So I guess the next lesson that I'm learning is to use something that evenly heats <laughs> so that I can have some semblance of a clue on when any of these things are gonna be cooked. So I'm gonna just kind of flip that, and that's kind of getting at what a crepe's supposed to be at it. <laughs> um, I think maybe there's also like too much coconut oil there. This is, um, this is a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, ah, man. Okay, that was, that was too early. I didn't wait to wait long enough. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is this is wild. I should have just used a frying pan. Um,
Or just waited long. You know, I just need to wait longer. This is doing it. It's gonna do it eventually. Ah, oh, close, okay. This one, I'm kind of, I, I don't know about this one over here. It's, it really definitely does not seem to be on the right, the road to cooking. So this guy over here is okay. I'm seeing promise. I think I might actually make a crate by the end of this stream. So I mean, maybe more, but yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, so something. Yeah, I just tried them now and um, they're really salty. I mean, really salty. Like, I don't really want to eat much more of this. Because I don't think it'll be good for me. Alright. Um, Alright, with that, uh, that timer means that the muffins are good to go. So, uh... Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, let me get back focused on the crates for a second. Okay, so that kind of... Yeah, I don't... Look at that. That's just... I mean, it's just not hot enough over there, so... I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, so... Which gets me back to my original point. So, so no, it doesn't have a lot of salt. It just calls for butter. Um, 
but it does call for a lot of butter. So I'm almost thinking like, Because the only salt I threw in was like with my fingers. I was just like that. I'm trying to look for the recipe now. Eggs, no. Puree, no. Sugar, no. Yep, no, I checked the sugar just to be sure. That was sugar. Almond milk, no. Vanilla extract, no. Mm -hmm. High spice, fine. Nutmeg, fine. All purpose flour, fine. And then coconut, and I tasted the coconut. There's no salt in it. So, the only th place all that salt could have come from is the butter. It's either that or I mistook this cup of salt over here to be sugar and threw it in there but I don't think I did that so but yeah I mean can one can a quarter or like what is it half a bar of salted butter have that much salt in it So yeah, like this is the, this is salted butter. So 16 is half a container. 1600 milligrams, it's not that much salt. So I don't know, I'm just like, I mean, maybe I did mix in. I don't know. I'm gonna throw it out though. I mean. Maybe that's why it was chunking so weird. I, I, but yeah, I can't eat that. I mean, my heart rate would just go through the roof. So, um, the only thing I could think of is I put two tea tablespoons of salt in, in it instead of sugar. Because it doesn't taste sweet, so... <sighs> I can't believe I did that, but I'll have to go back and look at the video. Um, I might have actually... I might have actually put... That's the only thing that makes sense. Wow, okay. Okay, well... <laughs> You know, as I was saying that, I think, can I do it? I almost successfully flipped a crepe. So this is gonna be the last one for the night. The rest is going in the trash can. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can feel it now. I'm, I'm, eating, I'm at that point where I want to just drink a lot of water. So, Whew. I'm going to try this recipe again. That definitely wasn't supposed to happen. I'm gonna do it with unsalted butter next time, just in case, but I don't think it was the butter. Um, yeah, okay, all right, so 
this is turned off. Um, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is just move some stuff around. something that went actually a lot better, which is the blueberry muffins. So here they are. Yeah, I think they all turned out pretty well, and I, I like the way that the blueberries look inside of them. So, yeah, I think all in all, that's pretty good. Let me taste them, though. That's the important part, of course. Um, okay. Um, kind of held together. Yeah, that looks good. You can see the, yeah, look at that blueberry. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, I mean, using fresh blueberries. I think it's a really good idea. Okay. Well, that's what we successfully made tonight. <laughs> as well as some, I mean, crepes that were kind of on their way to becoming a success, but I discovered too late that uh, how I'd mix them was just horrifically wrong. So, I mean, I really wish I could describe just like how bad they are. I mean, I, I think, I mean, to put it in perspective, like two tablespoons of salt, if that's what I did, I, again, I gotta look back at the video, um, but two tablespoons of salt is six times the amount a human being should, of salt a human being should have in a single day. So, you know, like that means like every crepe I was making probably was going to have about 2,000 one tablespoon or one teaspoon of salt in it um plus the stuff that was coming from the butter which is yeah no good so i don't want to eat any of those crepes um because that's that would be bad um being like a full meal at mcdonald's or something um but yeah so with that um i i think what i'm going to do is probably before the last one um i might redo crepes just to try and redeem myself a little bit there. Um, maybe wait for the pan to heat up a little bit more before I try and cook them. Um, but that one, I don't know. I don't think I did the recipe justice, um, which is unfortunate. Unless I did it right. And then, I don't know. I probably should specify that you shouldn't use... Or maybe, I guess I should have just known not to use salted butter. But um, I'd say otherwise it went pretty well. I mean, these, aside from the frosting being a little bit weird because I put it on too early... Um, turned out pretty well, and these did as well. I mean, those are supposed to be moon cakes, but um, you can kind of see the difference between like one of the book's recipes versus like one you'd get at the store. I like these better. Um, they don't have as much sugar, um, but like I think the blueberries more than make up for it. 
Um, I love the texture. I mean, a lot of the baking stuff in this book is really good. So um, with that said, uh, I'm going to call it a night. Um, I haven't been able to do the first two nights this week, but I should be, able, should be good for tomorrow night. Um, and that's just going to be my Starfield stream. So I'll be back to that, just doing miscellaneous quests um, while I try and level up my character. And then I should be back next Monday with another cooking stream. Um, so, uh, yeah, with that said, um, until next time, I'm going to call it a night and get start getting things cleaned up. Um, but for anyone watching, thanks for checking out the channel. Um, I usually stream Monday through Thursday starting at 9.30 um, until usually about midnight. Um, or a little bit after midnight. Um, and, uh, yeah, Monday and Wednesdays are usually a cooking stream, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays are just me playing uh, a video game. Um, in this case, Starfield. Um, probably will be Starfield for a good amount of time. So, yeah, um, thanks, Bruno, for dropping in the chat again. It's always good to see you in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, until I'm streaming next time, um, have a good night. Cheers.